we'll go back to the beginning of the career then. And I don't know how you got your foot into the door of the business. Were you always a fan or were you just in the right place at the right time and someone plucked you out of the crowd? Well, timing's everything for one. And for two, I wanted to be a pro wrestler ever since I was five years old. So I used to always go, I used to go to the Philadelphia Spectrum. It's where it was a place Vince came to once a month. And me and my, and me and my buddy Ruben, we would go because <laughs> we didn't have any other friends that cared, that cared that much about wrestling. And we would go every month. I've actually had Gorilla Monsoon throw me, at, throw me out of the Spectrum <laughs> at one time. Dude, I carried Pete. I, I, I carried a beat because, dude, there was no security back then. It's not like it is today. There was just regular dudes, and they had this cart, and the cage was on the cart, right? And the match was Andre the Giant against Big John Stud in a cage match. Dude, I just got in the back. I was drunk here. I was probably like 17, 18, so we were drinking then. I had no problem. I just got in the back of the line of those good dudes. Picked up a piece of the cage because they didn't they didn't wheel it all the way down by the ring, so it had to be walked like like thirty yards. So yeah, I carried the piece, worked up, handed it to the dudes. The dude because there was other guys putting it together. You, you handed the piece of the cage up to them, and then I dove underneath the ring <laughs> because I wanted to see if there was a spring underneath the ring, but. Because everybody said they're always and they, and I'm still on that. I don't know how fake wrestling is yet. That's how much I was loving it. You know what I'm saying? I just 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 love it. So, uh, and then somebody left. This guy Joel Goodhart left a, a piece of paper, a flyer, because they would paper Vince's crowd because they were having an indie show. I had no idea what an indie show was at all. None. So we show up at that show. I pull into the parking lot. You never guess who pulls in right next to me, uh, Bruno San Martino. I'm like, this is the greatest thing that, that ever happened. Mm -hmm. We went in, saw the first two matches. I, I went to my buddy. I'm like, I can do this. He goes, I know you can. I've been telling you that for years. And, and uh, so that guy was starting a wrestling school. I paid him like 3,500 hours the next day. Started on like March 6th and had my first match June 9th. You were, uh, you never told me how Gorilla Monsoon found you, dude. Yeah, he pulled me out by my ankle. <laughs> must talk, but dude, all right, just so you know, it's not the first time he's thrown me out of a building, but this was the second time. The other time, I slapped Snoopify Snooker on the back. Snooker turned around, grabbed me by my hair. He said, This long blonde hair. And then the security guards grabbed me, and he went to the ring, and uh, and they pulled me back. And Gorilla was there, pushed the, pushed the button. The, the big bus door went up, and it kicked me out. <laughs> so yeah, so I guess my foot wasn't all the way under or whatever, but I, I I could feel this tugging on my foot, and Gorilla like looks at me. He's like, "You again, dude? Seriously?" <laughs> kicked me out, but I was right back in. It was so easy to get back. Those big buildings and the security. Five bucks would get you back in through any door, you know? <laughs> did you did he ever recognize you when you had your brief uh when you went to the WWF a couple of times in the late nineties? He was like, That's oh, that's that no. guy. I didn't really see him that I, I dude. I'm trying to remember if I ever even met him again after that. I I must have. Well, I don't know, I can't remember. But there's a lot of things. Well, you'll find out when you ask me stuff. I'll yeah. be like, I don't know.